humanities with maths. There are amazing career options after humanities with maths. IR, international relations. It can lead you to CSR consulting, ESG consulting. It can lead to governance consulting. You can work with UN bodies, UNICEF, UNESCO, and so on. You can go for Ambedkar University after 12th grade, BA Global Studies. You can go for PDPU Gujarat. You can also look at Paul Science and then do a master's from a university like GNU. Internationally, number of universities, all top universities have IR. Second option, ECO. ECO can be an amazing option. If you want a government job, RBI, Niti Aayog. If you want private side, consulting company like Deloitte, KPMG. You can also look at teaching and research. You go anywhere in the world, you'll find ECO teachers. Universities, Delhi University, Ambedkar University, Gokhale at Pune. Then check out Ambedkar University. Check out uh, check out uh, uh, Gautam Buddha University, IP University, and number of universities. At a master's level, GNU, again Delhi University. Uh, you can also look at Christ for both bachelor's and master's. Narsimhanji Mumbai for both bachelor's and master's. Internationally, any top university, University of Toronto, UBC Vancouver. Similarly in US, any top university like uh, uh, you know Harvard, Princeton, Yale, Stanford, University of Melbourne in Australia, all have ECO. Some places will get combinations ECO and finance like LSE, London School of Economics. Check it out. Third option, you can look at governance consulting. Work with organizations like Samagra Governance, Dalberg, which is a multinational. They work with governments on different projects like digitization, like healthcare, education, uh, agriculture, involving agri-tech and others. So a lot of changes which they bring about in government so that governments can service people better. Amazing career option. So you can, you can look for options like this. The route is any graduation and a post-graduation in public policy, a fellowship. There are a lot of fellowships also available. Let's understand. Maybe I do Paul Science. Maybe I do law and then I can go for public policy courses. I am Bangalore has such a course. Maybe I go for a fellowship, Ashoka YF program, Gandhi fellowship and number of other fellowships. Maybe I want to go internationally. So again, I can go for public policy programs, even IR programs and still work in governance consulting. Some places like Sweden, you'll find uh, programs which are more open government programs. So definitely they will add value to the digital governance side, which is an emerging area. Even the smart city concept can be a part of this. Check these out. Fourth career option, because you have maths, you can also go for computer science or business analytics or any form of analytics. So if I'm a humanities math student, one top, one top institute is triple IT. They have a program, BTEC, computer science and social sciences. You know, half the seats reserved for humanities with math student. Yes, it is so easy for you to get in compared to even science student. Check out triple IT. You might be working with a company like Google, Yahoo. You might be working with Uber and so on. Amazing career options after it. Why do you need such people? Because such people, you know, they understand computer science also and psychology also. So check it out. If I still want to build up more on computing, I can also do a BC and then MCA. Most of the BCAs, the requirement is to have maths. So bachelor's in computer application, which university? DU has a BSc computer science requirement, maths. Anybody can go in for it. Uh, then you can go in for uh, IP university, uh, symbiosis. Outside India, again, a lot of universities, again, all the top universities will give you computing in case you have mathematics next business analytics so business analytics is where you're analyzing any kind of data let's say you're working with zomato so where are the people coming from where are the customers coming from what time are they ordering what what order quantity what kind of food is being so everything can be analyzed yeah there's a team of 58 people who analyzes amazon's amazon's front page where font size, colors, everything is analyzed. Yeah, So you create dashboards which help you in analyzing. So that is the job of business analytics, hot growing career. Then you can look at cyber law. So with, for cyber law, you need to have some interest in IT, but an amazing career. Think right now, money transactions online. We are, you know, all apps online. So much is happening online. So cyber fraud, uh, cyber, uh, cyber issues, cyber problems, you know. So who will take charge? Cyber law. Are there courses? Yes, there are. Outside India, you'll get more options, but in India, you can even do normal law and fourth and fifth year, you can specialize in cyber law. 
work with people like Pawan Dukar, who's a who's a big authority on cyber law. Next option, management is another hot option you can consider. See, some places you need mathematics to even apply there, like Sukhdev College of Business Studies or anything in DU. DU BMS, BB, you're eligible if you have maths. Also in the entrance exam, general aptitude also, mathematics will come. You know, just general test in CUET, mathematics will come. So, management, hot career option. Go to IIM Indore, IIM Rohtak. All the IIMs, five-year programs are open for you. IIMs entrance has English maths reasoning. So you can check it out. Internationally, if you're going to Canada, again, management is open. There are some exciting programs like University of Waterloo has, BA, Global Business and Digital Arts. So, so uh, uh, you know, if you have maths, again, it is easier for you. You can tackle areas like analytics very easily. So Global Business and Digital Arts is creative plus management or any normal management courses also with a specialization in finance, with a specialization in analytics, with a specialization in digital transformation. All these you can do internationally also. Last year, I remember somebody had joined from our office, somebody had, we had had, and she joined uh, UBC Vancouver and she's specializing in analytics after humanities. And then stats can be a good option. You can do stats on us, again, look at analytics after it. So ISA, Kolkata, Delhi University, a lot of universities have stats in India, as well as outside India. And then last but not the least, geographical information system, GIS. You know, we use Google Maps. So what is the technology? GIS. Digitization of property records have happened in most of the states. What is the technology? GIS. Yeah. Map My India, GIS. So geographical information system. So you have both geography, and you're interested in IT. You can combine both of these. Ideally, do BCA and then one year program CDAC, Center for Development and Advanced Computing. So that's a way to build up in case you're looking at GIS as an area. So students, don't shy away from humanities. It's a hot, hot career option. There are areas like you do Paul Science. One of my students, he did Paul Science, top college, and is working in Paul Strat. Election time is coming. You see a lot of analysis of political data. And then you then you see on TV like how many people win how many seats, constituency wise, area wise, everything in detail. So again, it involves data crunching. Again, humanities and maths, you will be you will really be successful in that area. You might join Paul Strat, IPEC, and so on. Political consulting, you know. So humanities offers you amazing new career options. Uh, if I was you, I'll really research them and uh, and and choose humanities with maths and be really successful. I wish you all the best. Thank you.